that. My milker guy. Luke Brubaker yeah. owns a 700 cow dairy farm in Pennsylvania, one of the states in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. He also grows soybeans and corn for animal feed. We like to think we're in a non-irrigated garden spot of the world, and we're going to be here to stay. For healthy cows, Brubaker needs clean water. So he manages his land to prevent erosion and keep pollution out of the waterways, with grass buffers beside fields and fences to keep animals out of the streams. And we have uh, grass waterways, we have stream bank fencing. Brubaker also uses a digester, a high-tech machine that takes methane gas from cow manure and converts it into electricity. The cows produce enough methane to power 200 homes. The dry solids removed in the process are sold for fertilizer and cow bedding. It's basically pathogen-free, which for, for bedding animals it's as good or better than shavings and sawdust. South of Brubaker's farm is the Delmarva Peninsula, a large coastal land formation shared by three states, Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia. Poultry is among Delmarva's top employers. It generates over $2 billion a year, even more than tourism. Almost 2,000 farmers raise 600 million birds annually for a few large companies. These growers are responsible for more than a billion tons of chicken manure. Virgil Shockley is one of them. He's implemented a plan to manage nutrient runoff into water that leads to the bay. And this is approved by the state. Uh, each one of the plans is, is state document. It's recorded. Uh, they can go back, they can go in at any time, come onto the farm, take a look at what you're doing. Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Lisa Jackson announced President Barack Obama's executive order to restore the Chesapeake Bay. She says the federal government will take a stronger stand as regulator and enforcer. We talk about putting the bay on the pollution diet, increasing the reach of our regulations, enforcing the regulations we have already, saying to states that we want to see a plan that we can evaluate that shows how you're going to meet uh, the, the diet that you've been put on. Jackson says the federal government is prepared to impose stiff penalties on states that don't stick to the diet or meet the targets. She says EPA is working with the Department of Agriculture to give farmers technical and financial help with best farming practices. And what we're saying is, listen, please use this time because most assuredly we're also gearing up to put new regulations in place. In his executive order, President Obama called for bold, dramatic action to save the Chesapeake Bay. Jackson says if the administration responds with less, the bay's cleanup could be in jeopardy. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.